Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this channel. So today we are going to study about understanding culture, society, and politics. Um, in our school, this is given in the grade 11, but in other schools, grade 12. Um, another one is Saibang School per semester, Binimigay. This one is uh, second semester, Kaya quarter three. Uh, this is module four, anyway. The title is Human Evolution in Relation to the Significance of Cultural, Social, Political, and Economic Symbols and Practices. Nagkaiba yung kulay. You'll know later. Bakit? So, kung titignan nyo ito, ito yung curriculum guide. So, ang mga teachers ang gumawa ng mga modules. So, hirap sila. No? Um, hindi mo masisi dahil minsan wala namang background sa sociology or anthropology. Another one, they are not expert um, authors of books or curriculum developers. So, kung titignan nyo dyan, yung mga numbering, Ang labo, dun sa content standards, sa performance standards, and then yung dinagdag ng MELC or Most Essential Learning Competencies, hindi na siya nakatapat. Ano? Probably, gawa ko sobrang talino na siya yung nakakagets nito. Ano? So, with all, all due respect. Yeah? Um, kaya, hindi nagja-jive minsan. Look at this one. Actually, this is the DLL. So, then, so content standard, more of uh, human origins and uh, adaptation and uh, cultural, social, political evolution. Okay. And then, then, so performance, the man, um, ganun din, human evolution, biological, cultural, and social, political. While the milk, is focused on symbols and practices. So, hindi siya masyado nagja-jive. Sayang naman yung content ng nagawa, eh, marami naman matututunan at pwede naman siyang i-relate. So, what I did is, um, I made two uh, content. So, this is the most essential learning competency or the milk. This is number four. Analyze the significance of cultural, social, political, and economic symbols and practices. Ito ang content, yung prerequisite, more of evolution. Human evolution in terms of biological, cultural, and social political. There are two, hominization and humanization. Yung hominization, so ito yung evolution ng tao, physically, biologically, while the humanization is the evolution of uh, man in terms of cultural and social-political aspects. And then, we have the main topic, which is cultural, social, political, and economic symbols and practices. Okay, short activity. Examine the picture. I think you are all familiar with this one because you saw this in um, science subjects. What does it represent? How does it explain man's development? Did the prehistoric man use symbols? So, Gumamit ba sila ng mga symbols? Of course, there are practices. So, we'll find out. Okay. The Theory of Evolution by Charles Darwin. He wrote a book titled On the Origin of Species in 1859. And the theory says, All species are related and gradually change over time. From simple to complex organisms or from one single cell to multicellular organisms, creatures. 
Okay, there are Australopithecus, or sometimes these are called Australopithecines. The fossil, which assumes to be the intermediate between man and ape, divided into four species based on the thin teeth, jaw, and brain size. So, may pagkaiba siya sa mga ape or bakulaw. Mas manipis ang ngipin, mas uh, maliit ang panga, and mas malaki, of course, ang brain. Australopithecus afarensis. Australopithecus africanus. Australopithecus robustus. Australopithecus bose. Okay? But anyway, FYI lang, ano bang pinakaiba ng apes sa monkeys? So yung apes, walang buntot. FYI lang. Okay, hominization. So sabi ko nga, evolution ng tao, um, biologically. Okay, the evolutionary development of human characteristics that differentiate hominids or organisms belonging in the homogeneous uh, distinct from their primate ancestors. So yung kanina, more of a parang kung titignan mo siya, although may pagkaiba sa mga apes, marami siyang pagkatulad. Unlike this one, so iba daw yung tsura niya, mas mukhang tao. No? The hominids. Hominids differ from their predecessor, the Australopithecines in the series that they, so iba doon sa kaninang apat na pinakita. So, ano ba ang meron? They used stone tools for survival. They walked bipedally or uh, gumamit ng dalawang paa sa paglakad. They have expanded brains and enlarged bodies. O mas malaki ang utak. Mas malapad ang katawan. They are less asexual dimorphism. So other than the reproductive uh, system, halos magkamuka, hindi nagkakalayo ang tsura ng male and female. They have narrower limb proportions. So ano siya? Proportional lang katawan niya. And unlike dun sa siguro, para ng apes before, mahaba ang kamay. But mm, uh, nag-evolve siya. So mas maliliit ano? yung mga limbs. And they have reduced size of cheek, teeth, and crania. Mas maliit na siya, hindi siya uh, nakabukol. Yung pisngi, hindi masyado malaking ngipin, at saka yung, yung skull, yung crania, no? hindi ganun kalaki. Although yung brain ang lumaki, mas palaki doon sa taas. The evolution of the genus Homo. Homo habilis, Homo rudolfensis, Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, Homo florescensis, Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, and the Homo sapiens sapiens. Yan na tayo, no? Sapiens sapiens. Modern man. First, we have the Homo habilis. The shaft. Species with a brain of a Broca's area, which is associated with speech in modern humans, was the first to make stone tools. The species name means handyman, lived about 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago scavenging for food. So, nakakapagsalita, gumawa ng mga stone tools, kaya handyman, may hawak siya. And uh, nangangalap ng pagkain. Next, Homo rudolfensis. Species characterized by a longer face, large molar and premolar teeth, and having a larger brain case compared to Homo habilis, particularly larger frontal lobes, areas of the brain that processes information. Mas okay siya, mas develop kay Homo habilis. No? Dahil mas malaki ang bungo, mas malaki ang utak. No? 
yung frontal lobes na sinasabi kung titignan mo sa Google, yung brain natin, yung front part, yun. So, mas malaki, kaya mas nakaka-process siya ng information. So, he lived about 1.9 to 1.8 million years ago. Homo erectus. The species means upright man with body proportions similar to that of modern humans. Adapted to hot climates and mostly spread in Africa and Asia. They were the first hunters with improvised tools such as axes and knives and were the first to produce fire and lived about 1.89 million to 143,000 years ago. So, from the word erectus, naka erect, nakatayo siya ng tuwid. Nabuhay sa mga may init na lugar. At uh, hunters din, ano, mga ngaso. So, gamit ang palakol at kuchilyo. Yan. And the first to produce fire. Okay? Yan ang contribution ni Homo erectus. Napaka-importante, no? Uh, for food and uh, uh, to cook food and protection from animals or wild animals. Next, Homo heidelbergensis. A species with large brow ridge and short white bodies. They were the first early humans to live in colder climates. First to hunt large animals on routine basis using spears and first to construct human shelters. Lived about 700,000 to 200,000 years ago in Europe and Africa. So yung kanina sa mainit. Ngayon naman, lumipat sa malamig. Siguro hindi naman lahat, pero of course may lumipat sa colder climates. So mga ngasa din, ang mga malalaking hayop gamit ang ano, spears. And um, siya din ay gumawa ng bahay niya, no? Homo florescensis, species nicknamed the hobbit due to small stature with height of more or less three feet, lived in the island of Flores, Indonesia, along with other dwarfed animal species, lived about 900,000 to 17,000 years ago. So maliit siya, kaya hobbit, parang yun sa Lord of the Rings. So... He lived with the same dwarf animal species, so maraliit, no? Probably sa atmosphere, sa food, we don't know. Sa, sa panahon namang mga dinosaurs, puro malalaki, pati halaman, ano? Pero dito, uh, maraliit. Homo sapiens. The species means wise man. The present human belongs to this species appeared from 200,000 years ago. So, wise man, matalino, malaki ang utak. Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. Subspecies with short yet stocky body build adapted to winter climate, especially in icy, cold places in Europe, Europe and Asia. The first to practice burial of their dead, hunting and gathering food, and sewing clothes from animal skin using bone needles, lived from 200,000 to 28,000 years ago. The subspecies is the closest relative of modern humans. So subspecies, no? Nung homo sapiens, no? under siya nun. So, sabi, maliit ang katawan, no? Um, short, stocky, kasi nga, probably they need to keep heat in their body kasi naka, they, they lived in cold places. So may culture na rin siya, oh, may practices. Uh, they had burial of their dead, hunting and gathering food, and gumawa ng damit niya, no? Um, gamit ang balat, mga hayop. And finally, 
the Homo sapiens sapiens subspecies known as Cro-Magnon characterized to be anatomically modern humans under Pareno Homo sapiens. They were the first to produce art in cave painting and crafting decorated tools and accessories. Lived in the last ice age of Europe from 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. So Cro-Magnon. Modern humans, matalino, tayo na yan. So, meron ng art. So, in short, may symbols, di ba, na ginamit. Okay. Tanong, why does man have culture? Why does man have concepts of social organization, customs and traditions, religion, arts, um, and literature, forms of government, and economic systems? Yan yung seven elements of culture. Bakit ang tao meron? What separates man from animals? Nalagay ninyo. Because man or humans have the biological capacity for culture, thinking capacity. Siyempre, mas malaking otak. Um, man can think critically. Uh, pwede mag-solve ng mga problema para mas mapadali ang buhay niya. Speaking capacity. Now, you are able to express yourself um, elaborately and profoundly using words. Imagine if you're going to act all those words in the dictionary. Ang hirap, di ba? Gripping capacity. So there are two types, the power grip, malakas ang kapit, no? Kasi yung positioning ng mga daliri, lalo na itong thumb, um, and the precision grip, no? Uh, yung precision, you are able to hold things steadily. Kaya, ang galing ng kamay ng tao, nakakagawa siya ng mga maraming bagay. Yung apes, probably, they even have the uh, I mean, stronger grip is a power grip kaysa sa atin. But they lack the precision precision grip. And lastly, walking upright or standing capacity. Ano naman ang gamit nito? So, dahil nakatayo ka ng tuwid, you're able to see uh, in the past yung danger na paparating. So, you're able to uh, have a what, wider view or horizon. Another one is you are able to reach higher. No? Uh, mas nakakaabot ka ng mataas. No? So, mas marami ka rin nagagawa. Okay. Did the hominids use symbols? Yes, the Homo sapiens species. Kung titignan sa Google. Ayan. About 100,000 years ago, sabi ng isa, dun sa South African cave daw, nakita ang mga lines and hashtag patterns. And then another one, yung another answer is uh, the ancient Egyptians, probably because they used the hieroglyphics. No? Siguro kung pagbabasa yan, uh, maraming tao ang gumamit. Yes. Pero kung meron ng ginamit na symbol pa isa-isa yung mga hominids, so, malamang, may symbols din ano, ginamit. Okay, next. Humanization. Humanization is the long process of improving the human's everyday living through innovation, discovery, enhancing routines, and creating mechanism with the intention of harmonizing and harnessing the fullest potentials of their fellow human beings. So, yung kanina biological, well, this one is more of cultural, uh, socio-political, sometimes economic. So, proseso ng pagiging tao. No? Kasi tao naman siya talaga. So, humanization. Ayan. So, makikita dyan, the Paleolithic, ito yung Old Stone Age. 
So, makikita naman dyan kung aling species ang nandoon. So, doon sa una, uh, ito meron sa kweba, may tools, gumamit ng apoy, merong paintings at uh, paglilido, or sculptures, and they were collecting food. And then, Mesolithic, or the Middle Stone Age. So, nandiyan ako mga sapiens, sapiens. So, ganun pa rin. Meron silang uh, palaso at uh, pana. And then, nomadic din, napalipat-lipat ng lugar. Although may agriculture na rin. Pero, hindi siguro ganun ka-complicated or sophisticated. Then, the Neolithic. Sapiens, sapiens, yan na tayo. So, mas polished ang mga tools. Uh, nagstay na sa isang lugar no? um, because they domesticated plants and animals so may makakain na sila they don't need to move from one place to another um, okay and then the bronze age so may mga metals na ginamit so bronze was discovered so there were metal works ibig sabihin maraming bagay na nagawa Ga gamit ang bronze so meron din mga tela textiles Pero ang tela nito is usually wool or galing sa balahibo ng tupa. They lived in roundhouses. Ano ba itong roundhouses na to? Ito yung parang mga bahay sa batanes, sa mga ibatan. Ano? Pabilog, tapos may mga dayami sa taas. Meron ng law, government, and welfare. Meron na din sa architecture and art. At may potter's wheel para makagawa ng mga giant jars, pots. And meron na ring system of writing cuneiform and hieroglyphics. Yung cuneiform, ito yung sa Sumeria, di ba? And hieroglyphics, um, Egyptian civilization. And then lastly, this one is Iron Age. So, so, ganun na rin, may metallurgy or pag-extract uh, pag or paggamit ng iron. So, nagkaroon ng mass production ng mga tools and weapons. So, more developed ang mga houses, may mga rooms. And then, sophisticated rin sa agriculture, art, and religion. And, uh, dumami pa ang writing systems. So, go to sa ibang parte, no? Ng Europe, ng mundo. Okay, types of societies. Kasama to sa um, humanization. So we have the pre-industrial. So bago mag-industrial, hunting and gathering, uh, pangalap, pangaso, pastoral, pagpapastol, pag-aalaga ng mga hayop, kamukha ng baka, bing, horticultural, pagtatanim, but uh, only self-sufficient. Usually backyard uh, farming. Agrarian or agricultural, malakihan, no? Wide scale. They can save, makapag-imbak. They can also sell, no? magbenta ng ani. And the feudal or feudalism. So, wealth is based on the land ownership. So, the more maram, uh, marami ang pag-aari mong lupa, mayaman ka. So actually, dinala ng mga Spanish yun dito, di ba? May may-ari, tapos may mga trabahador. And we call those asciendas, di ba? And next, industrial. Pag sanabing industrial, ito yung uh, machines and tools and factories were introduced. And this started in Europe, particularly sa England. Maraming factors kung bakit sa England yan nangyari. First, uh, nagkaroon ng agricultural revolution para magamit yung mga raw materials. And uh, Great Britain was the biggest empire in history. So, marami siyang colonies. Eh, anong ibig sabihin? No? Mas maraming raw materials, uh, more labor, and big market. So, sila din ang bibili. Another one is they have banking system. So, pwede magpahiram sa mga mamuhunan. Mm, and then... Yung geographical location ng Great Britain, so hindi siya nakapalibot ng ibang countries. Nakahiwalay siya at pwede siyang umalis anytime. So gamit po ang, siyempre, pandagat. Wala pa naman masyado sa land nun. So maglalayag siya ng Atlantic Ocean. No? So mabilis sa kanya pumunta ng Africa and Asia. 
and then the post-industrial more of um, technology you know? so yan ang post-industrial uh, and then the modern one is a panahon na ngayon so anong bang bago so we have the internet yeah yung although may mass production na dati mas naman ngayon ano parang hindi naman bubuhay ang tao na walang internet may e-commerce no may e-education so lahat na lang no um makabase sa technology okay actually this is the main topic doon sa sa curriculum guide kasi ito yung milk the significance of cultural social political and economic symbols and practices ano ba ang mga symbols and practices uh, sa sociology do you know some of the symbols and practices recognized and used around the world so meron ginagamit sa buong mundo meron din sa Pilipinas di ba are you familiar with Filipino symbols and practices? Of course, you should. No? But anyway, if you can answer yes for both, then you have uh, good prior knowledge of uh, symbols and practices. Okay, let's have a short activity. Match the following pictures to their corresponding category. Cultural social, political, and economic. Ayan. Ano ba yan? How about this one? Parang Toyota na Toyota emblem na pabaligtad. Oh, I know you are very familiar with this one. Part yan ng ating kultura. And then, the last one. Oh. What are these symbols? You know? One is even a symbol at the same time, practice. You know? What are symbols? A symbol is an object, word, figure, sound, color, or action that stands for something else with no natural relationship that is culturally defined. So, lahat na lang, no? Sabi nga nung nabasa ko sa internet, hindi daw mabubuhay ang tao na walang symbol. Eh kung tama yun, even yung mga uh, prehistoric uh, humans, yung mga nabanggit nating hominids, so yes, they use symbols, di ba? Probably hindi ginamit ng lahat, pero siya mismo, kung isa siya o pamilya siya, na gumamit ng ganyan, so... Yes, ang sagot. Ano? Ano sabi niya dyan? With no natural relationship. Ikaw lang nagbibigyan ng symbol ng tao. Halimbawa, yung dove. Actually, wala siyang connect sa, ano, sa peace. Ano? Pero siguro, dahil sa Bible, after ng uh, paglubog ng mundo, di ba? yung dove ang bumalik kay Noah. I don't know. Because there are so many symbols na actually wala siyang relationship doon sa talagang meaning niya. Symbolism is when something represents abstract ideas or concepts. The world is filled with symbols. No? Um, so para maipakita mo, mairepresent mo yung nasa laman nito, na, na, sa laman nito, so, gumagamit tayo ng symbols. Symbols mean different things to different people. So, magkakaiba yung mga tao. Um, iba ang meaning dito sa lugar na to, Iba rin sa ibang lugar. Ibang tao, magkakaibang interpretation. Some symbols are gained from experience while others are gained from culture. No? So, experience. Ako na bubuhay ka, ma'am, you will experience uh, different symbols. So, sa culture naman, nandiyan na siya, lago ka pa ipinanak. And one of the most common cultural symbols is language. Nakasama pala siya. Ano ba yung mga nandiyan? Siyempre, letters. Ano? 
letters symbolize sounds. Diba? Halimbawa yung ganito. O. E paano kung naisip ng mga sinaunang tao na yung yung O is sound ng A? Di ba mag-iiba? But anyway, so nandyan na yan, so we follow. But anyway, ang ibig lang sabihin niyan, ang language ay isang malaking uh, symbolism. Types of symbols. Cultural, social, political, economic, siyempre. Umuulit lang tayo. Cultural symbols. A cultural symbol is a physical manifestation that signifies the ideology of a particular culture or that merely has meaning within a culture. So, mga ideology. Alam na natin yan, culture, no? Okay, let's see some examples. And uh, religious symbols, ano? Uh, we are familiar with the cross because we are hmm, Christians. Uh, most of us in the Philippines. Huh? And the last one, Sababa, as a left. So that is crescent, moon, and a star. So Islamic naman, kapatid nating Muslim. Actually, meron din pala sa Christian yung fish. Huh? Kasi si Jesus, di ba, pinadami niya yung isda noon. Tsaka, nangingisda sila, nangingisda sila, di ba? Kasama na si Peter. O, oh, yung ibang symbols naman, ibang, iba pang uh, religion sa mundo. Kamu kayo, na start of David sa mga Hudyo, Judaism. Okay. Uh, cultural symbols of the Philippines. Alam nyo na yun, national flag, national animal, um, national seal, yung pinakita kanina, and sa activity. Yeah. And, uh, and all, alam na natin yan. Social symbols. Social symbols are standards or beliefs that society uses to define what is accepted or not. No? So, ang lipunan, ang magdidikta kung accepted or hindi. No? Yan. Symbols of love. My heart, flower, ring, even even apple, siguro sa ibang bansa. Kiss, hug, even swan, and the cupid, yung angel. Okay. These are symbols of peace. Yung kanina, yung Toyota na, parang inverted Toyota emblem. Ito, peace. The dove. Marami pa. Oh, ito naman, medical symbols. Alam ng mga nurses yan. I suppose yung una, yeah, that is the medical kit, di ba? Okay, traffic symbols. And finally, we have the social media symbols. You are very familiar with this one. Next, political symbols. Political symbols simplify the political structures and practices for which they stand, can connect institutions and beliefs with emotion, can help make a polity or political political movement more cohesive. Okay, more of a, what, politics and government? And the states too, no? U.S. Although iba ginagamit natin kasi we are Americanized, di ba? Ayan. The official seal of the Philippines. So, nakikita ito sa mga government documents. Yeah, mga emblem, symbols ng mga uh, departments or the cabinet. And lastly, sa politics, ginagamit ng colors, di ba? Sa last election, mayroong pink, may blue, no? dati may yellow, may red. So, ang color is uh, pwede maging symbol. Next, economic symbols. 
economic symbols those relating to economic activities such as production distribution consumption of goods and services okay yeah these are economic icons of course ginagamit yan sa buong mundo yeah we have the peso sign here in the philippines and there is dollar sign pwede bang mabuhay yung tao dito sa pilipinas na walang dollars then possibly no? pag nag import tayo so gamit natin dollars pag uh, nababayad naman ang mga bumibili ng mga export natin dollars pa rin and yung mga OFWs ano? gamit ay dollars sa pag alis hindi naman pwede kasi ang pera natin and lastly sabi nga timely and relevant inflation and symbol of inflation okay question what are practices kanina symbols practices are actions or activities that are repeatable regular and recognizable in a given cultural context so pala pag hindi nangyari lang one time or maybe two times hindi siya matatawag na practice no? practices kailangan na uulit siya no? pwede ng every month every year or probably every day no? cultural practices hindi ko na define examples na lang Ayan, hospitality. Ang Pilipino hindi pwedeng mag-welcome, lalo na mga dayu dayuhan. Sa visitors naman, hindi pwedeng walang food, di ba? Ayan. Fiestas or festivals. So, naman natin sa mga Spanish. So, in honor of uh, patron saints. Pagmamano. No, to show respect to our elders. Bayanihan. No? Although ngayon, wala nang binubuhat halos ng mga bahay na ganyan, nag ibang mukha ang bayanihan. No? When people cooperate, uh, they help each other. So, that is already bayanihan. Sa Pilipinas, imposible nga wala kang makita ng tutulong sa'yo. Di ba? Pag sa oras ng kagibitan. And the sanaklo, or pagpipinitensya. So religious uh, practices. Social practices. Minsan nakakalito yung cultural and social. Kasi yung cultural pwede so maging social. Pero yung social, hindi, minsan hindi pwede maging cultural. Na? Hmm. Wedding. Especially mass wedding in the Philippines. Kung walang pera, may palibring um, kasal si mayor. Yan. Birthday. Debut. Sa Pilipinas lang nag invite ng napakaraming guests. 200, 100. Sa mga Koreano, immediate family lang. Yan ay practices. Or practice natin sa Pilipinas. Fair. Um, peria no? to entertain us so, so Pilipinas yata may ikot yung mga peria although padalang na sila oh, beauty pageants sa Pilipinas ano? parang ang mga barrio imposibleng walang ganyan no? from local to national and there's a funeral so rites or ceremonia sa mga patay. No? Dito lang yata na may patay, pero may nagsusugal. No? Political practices. Ayan. Political dynasties. Ang Pilipinas, napakarami niya yan. No? May national, may local. <laughs> oh, the Binays, the Estradas, Revillas, Enriles, Caetanos, Angaras, Villars, Marcoses. Uh, before, the Aquinos. Hindi lang yan. Kung um, iikot ka sa buong Pilipinas, marami pa yan. Ano? Um, political parties. Yan, may liberal, may PDP, may nationalista. Okay. Oh, we have a democratic form of government. So, majority rules. 
So, mananaig ang nakararami, no? The power that is uh, vested on people. Bureaucracy. Yung process ng government natin. Non-elective officials. Hindi ito mga officials, mga nagtatrabaho sa government. And uh, there are tons of processes. Kaya pag sinabing bureaucratic, mabagal, ano, mapapil. Kaya kung mapasok din ang red tape, bribery, pasusuhol para bumilis ang proseso. And there is the padrino system or backer system. Ito yung ako ang bahala sa iyo. Ako ang bahala sa kaso mo. Actually, minsan nag-uugat ito dun sa utang na loob. Yung utang na loob na or pakikisama din, nag-uutang ka ng, tumatanong ka ng utang na loob, nakikisama ka, even sa mali. Okay. Assessment. So, yung mga quizzes, uh, dalawa. Isa dun sa first part, which is nasa module. Second part, yung symbols and practices. So, Google quizzes, and I'll be sending the links. Performance task, dalawa din. In a long bond paper, make a simple timeline of human biological evolution. So, a timeline siya nung, nung evolution. Biological, ano? Create symbols that capture the essence of dead Ed's core values. So, gagawa ng mga symbols. Sarili. Paano i- i-represent ang makadyos, makapansa, makatao, at makakalikasan. And you should explain why you used such symbols. Dapat yun, ano? Maka, pag nakita mo, parang hindi mo magets na ito ay makatao. Ang bawa, bulaklak yung nalagay mo doon. Parang layo, no? So, kung hindi agad magets, pwede mo explain, no? Pero mas maganda kung agad siya nakaka-capture or naintindihan. Okay. This is the rubric. Siyempre, dapat may labels, uh, graphics, and relevance, and then attractiveness, and impact, and cleanliness. So actually, ito ay sa poster making, pero okay na din. Ano? Dapat nakalabel, para kung hindi masyadong maliwanag, so nakikita mo na. Uh, dapat tugma doon sa pinapagawa. Attractiveness or overall impact. Ito yung pag nakita mo, wow, ang ganda. Yun palang first impression mo. And dapat malinis. No? Baka maganda pero ang dami na lang dumi or kalat-kalat yung colors. Ano? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. And uh, please watch the upcoming videos. Have a nice day.